I have a really fun project. I'm going to um, make over a pickle jar and I'm using two techniques with Mod Podge. I'm doing a decoupage and a medium transfer. Um, so I'm going to do a step-by-step -step tutorial to show you how I created it. Simple, easy, and lots of fun. If you like upcycling, DIYs, repurposing, you've come to the right place and we'd love to have you follow along. I'm always creating lots of great content and if you'd like to subscribe, Hit the bell for notifications and follow us along. That would be fabulous. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my E6000 and glue on a vintage knob that I found onto the lid. This E6000 is fantastic. It bonds just about everything and you just put a little bit on, dab it on and uh, stick it to the lid and then let it sit for 24 hours. Put it somewhere where it's not going to get hit or bumped and just let it cure and dry to the lid. Now we're ready to prep our jar. Fill a sink full of hot soapy water and just let it soak the label off. ready to paint the jar. I'm using my homemade chalk paint recipe. I'll put a link in the description to the tutorial I have on how to make it and it adheres really well to the glass. You don't want to put it on too thick, just nice even strokes from the top to the bottom and that works perfect. I'm going to put two coats of this chalk paint on this glass jar. I'm going to paint this first coat and then I'm going to let it dry thoroughly and then I'm going to put a second coat on and that seems to make a really nice base for the project. Now we're ready to put on the graphics. I use a medium transfer method, which is the uh, Maj Paj. Now I had a hard time finding Maj Paj on Amazon and our Michaels is closed, so I bought this decoupage and it actually works just as well as Maj Paj and it's the same technique. I've made my graphics on PicMonkey. It's a paid subscription, but I use it almost every day so it's worthwhile for me. Um, and after I've designed my graphics in PicMonkey, I put it into my word program, size it, and make sure you reverse the text. And now I'm just going to put a light coat all over the graphic. Not too much, not too heavy, just a light coat from edge to edge. When making your graphics, you also have to use a laser jet printer. This process will not work with an inkjet printer. And now we're ready to put the graphic on the jar. And you just want to put it on and smooth it out, get rid of all the air bubbles, any little creases that happen. And I just like to take my thumbs and just rub across from end to end and make sure that it's smooth all across the jar. The lid has dried for 24 hours, so now I'm going to take a semi-gloss black Rust-Oleum spray paint and cover the whole lid. Now we're ready to start the decoupage. I found these napkins at our dollar store. They were $1.25 for, I think there's 10 in there, um, and I really like the floral pattern on them. These napkins are two ply and we only want to work with one ply. So you have to make sure you take the bottom layer off the napkin. Sometimes it can be a bit fussy, but just uh, try to find the edge and pull the two pieces apart. The next step is to tear out the image on the napkin that you want to apply to your jar. I like doing this tearing method because it gives it more of a kind of 
blended in seam when you mosh posh it on the jar. And you just work away at all the images that you want to add to your jar and just kind of rip around the image leaving a rough edge and the edge of the napkin I always take off the straight edge and kind of rip along the edge too and it just helps it blend in better on the jar. Our medium transfer graphics have sat overnight and now I'm ready to remove the paper. So you just want to lightly dampen your graphic just so you can start to see the lettering come through and then you just want to rub away all the paper. It just takes a little bit of patience but just uh, rub gently and as you do that you'll see your ink show through and the paper will rub off. Now we're ready to decoupage on our napkins. You just want to put a light coat of your Mod Podge on the jar where you're going to put your first piece of napkin and just a light coat, not too thick, and just to liberally apply it to the area and then pick up the piece that you're going to add and just gently just tap it down. Try not to get any wrinkles. Try to get rid of any air bubbles. Push them out as you're putting it on and uh, that's all there is to it. I sometimes take my paintbrush in little areas where I've missed and just add a little bit more Mod Podge, press it down again, and uh, anywhere along the edges where it just seems to be not sticking very well, just add a little bit of the Mod Podge to just guide along to lay better. Now you just keep working around your jar, adding your graphics as you go along until you have it the way that you think it looks nice and all blends in. I finished decoupaging all the napkins and now what I like to do, this is a really fine grit, a 220 sanding block and I just like to take it over all of the area of the decoupage just to take off little rough edges or little creases that I wasn't able to push out and it just kind of makes it have a more smooth look. Last step is to apply a very liberal coat of the Verithane Polyacrylic Matte Finish and it just seals it up really nice. And there you have a pickle jar upcycled into a beautiful decor jar with decoupage napkins and medium transfer graphics. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial and have fun creating your own upcycled project.